the New York Knicks look like straight trash. The New York Knicks were so embarrassing last night, sanitation workers wouldn't have wanted to show up at Madison Square Garden. They couldn't take that smell. But that's not why I'm going off. You see them. Points per game differential, 29th in the NBA, dead last in offensive efficiency, dead last in field goal percentage shooting, 28th. That's third worst in the league in assists per game. They're trash! They stink! And ladies and gentlemen, just for the interest of full disclosure, ESPN Radio in New York City is the flagship station for the New York Knicks, and I'm still telling you, they stink! Period! Even that is not why I'm sitting up here ticked off. Had nothing to do with that. What it has everything to do with are two individuals I genuinely like and respect and was more than happy to see hovering over this franchise until yesterday. That would happen to be Steve Mills, president of basketball operations for the New York Knicks, and Scott Perry, general manager for the New York Knicks. You know, Steve Mills was named president of the New York Knicks on July 14th, 2017. I'm going to show you how fond I am of this man. You listen to me, John? Jonathan went to my producer. You know how fond I am of this man, Steve Mills? You know how fond I am of this man, Scott Perry? I'm not going to mention the Knicks record since they've taken over. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to give them that pass. Because the record is atrocious. We anticipated that was going to be the case. I am on the record stating the obvious. David Fisdale should not have been picked as coach of the New York Knicks ahead of Mark Jackson. Why did I say that? Had nothing to do with David Fisdale's coaching. It had everything to do with the fact that you had to have a voice representing the New York Knicks franchise that New Yorkers would gravitate to, that would who they would listen to, and they would accord the necessary level of patience because he was one of their own. That's where Mark Jackson came in. Ladies and gentlemen, I will never in this lifetime defend head coach David Fisdale of the New York Knicks more than I'm about to do right now. Steve Mills and Scott Perry are throwing him under the bus. Somebody's got to say it. You don't do what the hell they did yesterday. You don't do it unless you fired the man. You don't do it before you fire him. You don't do it when you're about to send him out to coach the team. You don't do what they did yesterday. And in the interest of full disclosure, I don't think I've had more than one conversation with David Fisdale since he's been hired as the coach of the New York Knicks because I knew misery was on its way. And why the hell should I be in the path of that level of tension and and depression and everything else that comes with it? I haven't spoken to David Fisdale in over a year. I like him. I respect him. I believe he's a better coach than the record indicates. But that is not why I'm sitting here going off. And I'm not going off about Steve Mills and Scott Perry if the conversation that they had took place with James Dolan behind closed doors. But how do you come out in a press conference with a straight damn face on an NFL Sunday evening in the immediate aftermath of an atrocious loss to a hapless Cleveland Cavaliers squad? And literally say with a straight face, 
We were supposed to be better than this. With the roster you have accumulated, how do you do that? How do you do that? What the hell is going on? I watched the game Friday night where the New York Knicks almost blew the game against the Dallas Mavericks because they missed three consecutive free throws. Julius Randle missed one. I forgot who missed the previous two. I watched Jonathan. I watched Marcus Morris handling the ball like he was a point guard. Like he was supposed to be the one running plays. I watched them give the ball to Julius Randle. Not in the post. This brother was dribbling the ball up the damn court when everybody knows he's going left. Now you can point the finger. And you can sit up there and you can say, that's Fizdale. You know what Fizdale can come back with? Who the hell am I supposed to give the ball to? What kind of roster did you accumulate? Marcus Morris? Julius Randle? Alfred Payton? Frank Nilakina? Dennis Smith ain't even there. Depression's got him home. R.J. Barrett is a rookie. He's got promise, but he needs to work on being ambidextrous too instead of using his damn left hand all the time. He says he's right-handed. When I see it, I'll let him know. What kind of roster is this? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.